Hey friends, today I have your favorite kind of video. We are going to be working on some thrift flips. For this first project here, I found this, oh, what does the sticker say? A rustic palette. Now, somebody had some kind of project going on with it. There's some command hooks on it. I paid $2.50. I have it listed up on my website at $29.95. We are going to be adding some fun handles and a stencil and flipping this thing over, turning it into a rustic palette tray. I'm going to be using a JRV stencil. This is the Cooperative Agricole. I have this one and many more available on my site. If you haven't used these stencils before, they're amazing. They're super thick, made to be used over and over again. So if you're a reseller, you're gonna get a ton of projects out of these or if you like to make gifts for the family, or maybe you're new to stenciling, they are very user-friendly. I'm using the largest stencil brush that I carry, a JRV stencil brush. Look how condensed and beautiful those bristles are. Makes for a nice, clean, crisp image. And I'll be using DIY paint in the color Faded Burlap, a beautiful neutral. The key to getting a crisp image is to use a very dry brush. I get just a little bit of paint on the tip of my brush and I offload it mostly onto the paper towel. Then using the driest brush I possibly can, I stipple up and down across my entire stencil surface. I got a little crazy over here. My stencil slid around, but that's okay. I am going to distress it. I love the way that looks. It looks like it is a chunk of an old crate that got chopped up and this is the vintage stamp on it. I've got some 220 grit sandpaper here and I'm just gonna give this a light distressing. I'm gonna seal my paint up with a little bit of dark wax. It won't take much, and if I use too much, it's going to cover up that pretty paint color. But this is gonna also help provide a nice antique finish. And seal my paint. I'm gonna do a little bit at a time and then just wipe back any excess. You can see the difference between the dark wax and no dark wax. To match up this raw wood spot where I removed the sticker, I'll be using some of my DIY Dark and Decrepit Liquid Bikina. This is an all-in-one product with a built-in sealer. I use my heat gun here to just dry it up and I'll do a few coats. This little spot will blend right in. I have a couple of my favorite handles. I ordered these off of Amazon. They're great for a lot of the furniture makeovers I do, but they make amazing handles as well. And they are linked down in my Amazon shop below. They're super easy to install. You just drill them in from the front, which I love. This tray sold for $29.95, but you can grab your very own stencil, paint, and brushes over on my site and recreate one of your very own. If you're one of my new subscribers and you're wondering where you can find any of the products or my finds and flips, it'll be over on my website, upcycledbybree.com. And I always link all of that information down in the description box below for you as well. For project two, I thrifted this board with the built-on clips for only $3.50. I listed it up on my site and now it is time to give it a makeover. I grabbed my Prima transfers and I cut out a few of these smaller labels that had some flower designs on it. And we are going to put them onto these small paper bags that my friend Linda sent me, goodness, probably a year and a half ago. These Redesign with Prima transfers are fairly new to my site and y'all, I am in love. Look at the beautiful detail on this label. So it is an image that is on a plastic paper 
with the paper backing. You take the paper backing off and now I've got my plastic with the image here. I've placed it right onto my paper bag and I'm using the enclosed transfer stick to rub the image down. As I rub and press, it transfers the image from the plastic onto my paper bag project. I've used these transfers on a few different surfaces now. The paper was extremely easy and I've got to say how quickly and beautifully these transfers take your projects up to another level. It's just incredible. I will list the collection of transfers down in the description box below so you can see all of the designs that I have available. After I get them all clipped on, I decide to add lavender to one for a little extra touch and this project is complete in under 15 minutes. What a beautiful quick makeover. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about these new transfers. Next up, I am going to be repainting these candlesticks. They have got kind of that generic distressed finish. It's not very great. They look kind of dirty. They're not, I cleaned them, but we are going to give them a much prettier French country makeover. I'm using the color DIY Apothecary and my Cleon R12 brush to get into all those little details. This is a clay-based paint. It is highly pigmented and nice and thick. So the coverage is really great. I should get the coverage I'm looking for after a one coat and then just a little tiny bit of touch up. After one coat, we've got basically full coverage. There are a couple spots where it's a little thin. I'm just gonna touch those spots up because I'm gonna be white waxing, not distressing. DIY white wax to seal these up. I'm not going to be using any clear wax as a barrier. I'm gonna go on with a nice thick coat of the white wax straight onto the paint. I like to take a little bit out of the container here, put it onto my lid, and that way I don't end up getting green paint in my big container of wax. Get a little bit here on my chip brush. And working in small sections, I'm just going to start applying it right over my apothecary paint. I really want to work it down into the low points and then I'm going to wipe it back right away off of the high points. The longer this sits, the harder it's going to be to wipe back. This DIY wax is a very soft consistency and very smooth. It's really easy to apply. Look at that difference between the unwaxed candlestick on the left and the white waxed candlestick on the right. I usually have a couple of pairs of candlesticks available to be painted on my site. If y'all are wanting a pair of apothecary and white waxed candlesticks for yourself, this is still the number one selling color on my site when this video came out. I just love the way this beautiful makeover came out. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the color. If you're not subscribed yet, be sure to hit the little subscribe button below. And if you click the bell, click that to all notifications. YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. I've also got a second channel where I show you all of my thrifting out in the wild where I find all of my amazing finds. Inch, one and a quarter. Is this a one inch? One and a half inch. Two inch. I don't know. It's big. <laughs> why? Say, mom, why won't you let me on the couch? Jeez, cause you're in my shot up there. That's why. You could give me just a minute. Give me just a minute, okay? 
Hey, ew. Hey friends, today we will be doing some 